The Alara range is unique, customizable, and easy to install. Just follow these steps to get exactly what you need. Start by measuring your space. Sketch the room and label the height from floor to ceiling at more than one point, as your ceiling may slope slightly and the width your room divider needs to be. To get the accurate width, measure from the edge of your skirting board, not the wall. You can fill the gap between the first post and the wall with a filler panel later. And be sure to double check your measurements. Now you want to choose your panel and post style. If you want a completely separate room, choose a fire rated panel with white or paintable posts. If you don't want a separate room, you can choose from white panels which can also be painted to match your room, striking industrial black panels which can be used with black posts, or peach whip panels which can be used with white or paintable posts. If you want a half height room divider, simply choose any 100cm by 100cm panel and the freestanding kit. One kit is needed for each panel and includes wheel and foot options. Note down which style of panel and post you will be using. Now that you know what style of panels you want, you can choose what sizes of panels you need. These need to combine to meet your ceiling height and desired width of your room divider. It's easier to design a wall with solid panels first, and then swap these out for shelving, spacers, or feature panel sections such as windows to let light through at the end. Different size panels can be combined to meet any ceiling height between 230 and 282 centimeters. This table shows what the combined panel height will need to be for different ranges of ceiling heights. For this example, our ceiling height is 244 centimeters, which is in the second range. This is made up of combining two 100 centimeter high panels, a 25 centimeter panel, and a 12.5 centimeter panel. Work out what combination you need for your ceiling height and mark this down on your plan. You can then combine panel widths to make the room divider meet your required width. Remember that the left and right side of every panel must clip into a post, and each post adds 4 cm to the overall width of the room divider. For our example, we wanted a width as close to 265 cm as possible. With this combination, we can achieve 266 cm. You can now draw out a plan showing what panels are needed. If you want to include a sliding door, you will need to leave a 75 cm gap between two posts. You will then need to purchase the door rail kit, door panel kit, angle brackets, any sliding door at least 80 cm wide and below 24 kg, and a flush handle. With your panels selected, you now need to select the posts. Extenders can be used to meet any ceiling height between 230 to 282 cm. These line up with the different heights of panels available. Use this table to understand which, if any, extenders you will need to add on to each post kit. In our example, the ceiling height is 244 cm. This is in the second range, so we will need 12.5 cm extenders on each post. The remaining gap to the ceiling is secured by extending the top foot on each post. Look at our diagram. We need four post kits and four 12.5 cm extenders. Now that you have a clear plan of your layout, you can replace any 100 cm by 100 cm section with shelving, a spacer section or a feature panel. If you want a shelving section, you will need one shelf bracket kit which comes in a pack of six and three 100 by 25 cm panels. For a spacer section with two gaps, you will need two spacer kits. These come in a pack of two and two 100 by 25 cm panels. You can also use spacers and shelves on sections less than 100 cm wide by using narrower panels. You can also replace a 100cm by 50cm panel with a cork pin board or combine two to replace a 100cm by 100cm panel. Floor strips must be used along the bottom edge of every panel that touches the floor to seal the gap and help protect them when cleaning. 
the strips come in 100 cm lengths. In our example, we would need three, cutting the third one to size. If you want to cover the gap between both sides of the room divider and a wall, you can use the optional side filler kit. This is available in the white paintable finish. For this, you will need one kit per wall that you are sealing against. You can cover any remaining gap at the top of the room divider with the optional top filler kit, also available in the white paintable finish. They come in 108 cm lengths, with two in each pack, one for each side. Work out how many you need for the width of your room divider, remembering that they cover the panels and posts. These may need cutting to size. Once you have a final plan of your room divider, you can list out all of the items that you'll need. You are now ready to order and enjoy your room divider.